Hello again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 14th of February, 2019. I posted a series of videos this morning. One of them was titled, Officer Jason Van Dyke Should Have Never Been Sent to Prison. And I attached a couple of links in that video. And uh, I said in that video that I was going to reach out to the attorney that's trying to shorten Jason Van Dyke's time in prison. And her name is Jennifer Blogg, B-L-A-G-G. -G. I waited until around 9 o'clock Central Time, and when I called her office, I expected to speak to a receptionist. Well, she answered the phone. I told her who I was, I told her what I've been doing for the last seven years, and I told her why I had called. And I asked her if she was familiar with the shooting that took place in California with those two officers that shot that 17-year-old girl countless times. She wasn't. So I made her aware of it. And I also made her aware of the shooting in Mesa, Arizona, where the police, five of them in the hallway, told the man to crawl on his belly. And if he didn't obey their orders, they'd kill him. Well, they killed him. And on the flap of the gun, the air has a little flap that opens when shells eject. The shooter had inscribed, if you see this, you're fucking dead. Or you're fucked. Anyway, um, we'll see what she does. I also posted a video titled Nicholas Cruz, an MK Alter graduate. And I attached two links. One of those links shows what the helicopter videoed, seeing those four policemen leaving the back of the school during an active shooting after throwing their duffel bag into the back of the trunk, the open bed of the truck. You could see the little lights flashing, which shows that it's a government-issued vehicle. And uh, the other link was of a gentleman who was a school administrator who said that he didn't believe the narrative. He said it didn't make any sense. John Bouchel, B-O-U-C-H-E-L-L. I went ahead and I contacted Governor DeSantis' office. And I spoke to a pleasant young lady. I told her who I was and I told her what I've been doing for the last seven years and how I felt that Nicholas Cruz is in fact a graduate from K Ultra, And this was done by unfortunately, our government. And I told her about the two links that I attached. And I asked her to have Governor DeSantis appoint someone to look into who those four officers were. And I told her about Stacey LaPelle's comment when she looked down the hall and said, what are they doing here? And she said they were wearing a mask. They were dressed like policemen. And then she got shot in the arm. The teacher beside her got shot in the head. He's dead. And in that video, there's also one of the students that was walking down the hall with Nicholas Cruz. She says, what are you doing here? I thought you were doing a shooting. And he goes, huh? And then they heard gunshots go off. Folks, I don't think much of it, anything's going to come of it, but I'm doing the best that I can. Nicholas Cruz was set adrift with no one to help him. Folks, we need to know the truth. Not only about Parkland. We need to know the truth about JFK's assassination. We need to know the truth about 9-11. We need to know the truth about so many of these horrific events. I'm doing the best I can. You've got to try to do the same. I'll attach the links to these two videos. You look at them. They have those links attached as well. I can't do this alone. I need you, but you all also need me.